What's up, family? Man, I bless each and every one of you. May God continue to guide you, keep you, and comfort you, and aid you in your growth and development, as well as the healing stages of your life. Family, man, we got to grow up. We have to grow up emotionally. Um, <clears throat> yesterday, I had a movie, a movie, a video that came out talking about, man, everything ain't the way it seems. Everything ain't the way it seems. You know, and then it's a trip because... 1991, I believe it was, People Bryson came out with, I know this before a lot of you were born, but it is what it is. You know, there's a song that came out. Um, Can You Stand the Rain? Can You Stop the Rain? <clears throat> Can You Stop the Rain? By People Bryson. And man, it's a powerful song. It's a powerful song. Man, I encourage you guys to go check it out. Can You Stop the Rain? By People Bryson. Um, like I said, I believe it was 1990, 1991. Can you stop the rain? And it's a trick because so many of us, our perspective of life is so twisted. It is. And it is what it is. You know what I mean? We got this perspective that, man, I can't function. I can't da-da-da-da. And this person did it. And we're so twisted and so caught up in our emotions, so caught up in our feelings. And we completely miss we completely miss it because we're so caught up, so wrapped up, so tangled up in our own emotions, in our own feelings. We completely miss the whole story. We completely miss the movie. We completely miss the lesson. We're so caught up in our feelings and emotions. We're blinded to the truth. We are. Because my feelings say da 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 da, my feelings say da 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 da, and da 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 da. We completely miss what God is trying to show us. We completely miss and ignore what God is telling us. Because we're so caught up in our feelings. I'm entitled to feel this way, and this motherfucker da 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 da. And we have all this shit going through us. We completely miss it. We completely miss it. And it takes growth and development. It takes us humbling ourselves. It takes us healing. To get to a place where we can say, damn. 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 I missed it. I missed it. Why did I bring up that song? Can you stop the rain? So many of us. So many of us. If the truth be told, if the truth be told, we allowed our insecurities, we allowed our issues to fuck up a golden opportunity that we had. We allow our insecurities, we allow our issues and our unresolved trauma we're in a great situation now, but we're getting ready to fuck it up. We're in the process of blowing it up. We're in the process of leaving something great. We're in the process of leaving something that's good for us. Because of our feelings. Because of our issues. Truth be told, I was listening to that song, Can You Stop the Rain? Can You Stop the Rain? No. No. We can't stop the rain. The rain's gonna come. And what am I talking about? The rain, the broken hearts are going to come. Those sad days are going to come. The frustrating times are going to come. The heartaches, they're going to come. It's a natural process of life. It's a natural process of life. The question isn't, are those times going to come? 
The question is, are you going to be able to understand when those times come, when those times arrive in your life? What is it about you that you need to learn? How are you going to handle those times when they arrive? Because they're going to come. The disappointments are going to come. The setbacks are going to come. Death for our loved ones is going to come. Sickness is going to come. How are you going to handle it when it comes? How are you going to handle the disappointments in your life when they pop up? Are you going to take on this victim mentality? Are you going to take a man, life's not fair. We'll do, we'll do. I, I've done that. I've done that a lot in the past. How are you going to handle that when it comes knocking at your door? When people leave you, how are you going to handle that? When your job closes up and man, it shuts down because the company's out of business or whatever, they're moving overseas. How are you going to handle that? When the person you want to be president doesn't become president, how are you going to handle that? When your team doesn't win the championship, how are you going to handle that? When you put all your eggs in this one basket and the basket breaks and you lose your investments, how are you going to handle that? How are you going to respond to the setbacks? How are you going to respond to life happening for you? See, because life don't happen to you. Life happens for you. There's a difference. Life isn't just happening to us. Life is happening for us. There's a difference. A major difference. You can do all the things right. You can do everything that you're supposed to do. And she still leave you. You can do everything you're supposed to do and he'll still walk out on you. You can do everything you were supposed to do and he'll still find somebody younger, prettier, more athletic. You can do everything you were supposed to do. And she'll go look for somebody else. And it is what it is. The question is, how are you going to handle it? When you lose your loved one, how are you going to handle it? See, the question, the trip is, the great majority of us don't know until we get put in that situation. It's easy to do all the, yeah, 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 I can do this, I'm going to handle this, I'm going to do that. And you don't know until you get there. The trip is, you can sit back and say you can handle all this other stuff, but the question is, how are you handling this stuff that you're facing now? How are you handling the little things that you're going through now? Are you allowing these things to rob you of your joy, your peace, your happiness? Are you allowing life to make you feel like a fucking victim? 
Are you allowing life to make you feel like you're powerless? Have you allowed life to take all of your hope and dreams? It's not about what happens to you. It's not about what happens in life. It's about how you respond to it. Can you pick up the pieces? Can you continue moving on? Can you maintain your joy, your peace, your happiness? Can you maintain your sense of purpose? We're going to find out. You're going to find out. Everybody's bad until they get in a fight. Everybody's tough until they go through something devastating. Everybody's Billy Badass. Until somebody hits them in their motherfucking mouth. We gotta grow up emotionally. We have to grow up emotionally. And the trip is, we could sit back and say, oh, I can take that, I can handle that, I can handle And we can't handle the little shit that we're dealing with. We can't handle motherfuckers looking at us funny. We can't handle people talking about us. We can't handle people lying on us. We can't handle people deceiving us. If we can't handle these little things, what makes you think you're going to be able to handle that big shit? We got to grow the fuck up emotionally. We got to start dealing with our stuff. We got to learn to change our perspective of life. We got to learn that, man, it's up to us. It's up to you to change your life. You have all the power to change your life. You have everything you need at this moment to change your life. What do you need? The right perspective. That's what you need. More money is not going to change your life. It'll change your life on a superficial level, but it won't change you mentally. And you'll end up in the same fucking situations all over again. Because emotionally you haven't changed. Emotionally you haven't healed. Getting a guy, getting a girl, that'll change your life only in the aspect of you got somebody to fuck with. And you may not have to pay all the bills right now. But if you don't change your emotions, if you don't change how you think, if you don't change your maturity level, your emotional maturity level, you're going to fuck off that relationship. Or you're going to pick somebody that's going to be toxic as fuck and you're going to be going through worse shit than you're going through now. You could pick a great guy, a great woman, and they're going to leave you and you're going to be more fucked up than you are now. You're going to fall in love with somebody who don't give a fuck about you. You're going to fall in love with somebody who's great, great looking and they're da 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 and they're tired of your bullshit. And you're going to be far more fucked up than you are now. You're going to have a whole lot more fucking issues than you do now. The 
Don't be so quick to want to jump in another relationship. Thinking that's the answer. Don't be so quick thinking that money is the answer. Because you could get more money and find yourself more fucked up financially, which causes you to be more fucked up emotionally. We got to get this shit straight. First and foremost. It don't matter what happens externally. If you never resolve this. It don't matter what happens. It, uh, it doesn't matter what goes on in the world. If you can't fix this. If you don't get connected to source and get the right perspective of life. Everything that's going on externally is just a window to show you where you're at emotionally. We got to understand that. And stop allowing this shit to distract us. Man, we got to grow the fuck up. We got to grow up emotionally. We got to stop playing games. We got to stop wasting time on the foolishness. I hope and pray that I said something to encourage you, to inspire you, or to even challenge your way of thinking. I love you guys. Happy healing. Peace.